It's Teen Star with Chichi. Welcome to another interesting episode. My name is Chichi Umesaka, the teenage coach. And you know how Teen Star has been rolling. This is season five. We are all about talking about things that nobody wants to talk about. People, it's happening. They know these things are, you know, there, but nobody would really want to talk about it. And today's show is one of the kind. It's, um, it's us telling the young people, in spite of whatever the family is present to, to us, or you grow up and you're saying, okay, I'm being parented by just a single parent, parent maybe my mom or my dad, it's not going to affect me. Or even my grandma is not going to affect you. And I have super cool teenagers, young adults, in this studio who are going to help me inspire you. And I hope you will be inspired by the end of the show. Don't go nowhere. After this break, we'll be back to go into the topic of today. Sit tight. Welcome back. It's this time. And like I said earlier, today's show is something that we all know is there, but nobody has actually talked about it. The teenagers, I've heard a lot of teenagers or some teenagers tell me, Auntie Chichi, I don't have, um, you know, it's just my mom or it's just, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trained or I'm raised by my grandmother. And I know one way or the other, it, it has affected them or it still goes a long way to affect them. And I have some super cool people in the studio who are, um, no, I, I wouldn't say unfortunately. I, I feel there's blessing in everything that we go through. Sure. And they are here, they are sound, they are being raised by single parents, and they are not dead. They are sane, they are okay, nothing is wrong with them. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so guys, welcome to Tea's Time. And um, Anita, Ma. how are you? I'm very fine, Ma. thank you, Ma. Help me introduce yourself. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Oyemo Bianita, I'm 17 years old, and I'm a 19 volunteer. And you just finished secondary school? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fantastic. Hello. Williams! Hello, everybody. My name is William Scofi, I'm 21 years old. I'm a trumpeter, I'm a professional trumpeter, I'm a last chance of joy, um, uh, if you know that. Then I'm also a TSO ambassador, TSO is an organization that is based in Port Harcourt, and I'm also a 19 volunteer. I really love and teach and what she's doing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm on Bonifu V3. I'm done with secondary and 16 year old in media. And um, I'm also the founder of Bikile Foundation, Nigeria at the state, everywhere, all around. I'm also the teenage from Nirvana Bra State. I'm also the model of the year for the state. She's a model. She's a model. She's amazing too. Okay guys, straight into the topic. I have heard a lot of teenagers say, because I'm raised by a single parent, things are not going well. So tell me, you are raised by your mom. Yeah. When, when did you lose your father? I lost my dad when I was four. Four years old. Wow. And do you think it, in any way it has affected your upbringing or anything? No, not at all. My mom is the best. I can guarantee you that. Anywhere in the world, my mom is the best. When since I was four till now, I'm 17. None of my brothers have gone astray. You know, there is this mentality that when the father is not there or when the family is not complete, things go wrong, especially with the male child. And it's not like that in my family. I don't know why people have that mentality, but it doesn't work that way. My family is straight, smooth, and sound, although it isn't perfect. You understand everybody has his or her own imperfections but we are good to go fantastic i'd like to hear that williams tell me um mine mine is um, an experience that's combined because i actually grew with my grandmother we were together like she was my partner she taught me how to cook she taught me how to wake up at night to read because she was a teacher she would be writing a lesson note at night so she would wake me up so from there, I learned how to write. And it was the recently I discovered I could write very well. Wow. I was doing it when I was small, but I didn't really take it personal. I didn't take it intentional, but I was always doing it. I'll wake up, I'll write alongside with her, I'll read. And it was reflecting my academics because I was a bit bright. Then somehow, my experiences is, is a long one and it's, 
it's interesting. I, I know we get to talk about all that stuff. Yeah, I, I think I can't wait. I want to hear about it. You were raised by your grandma. What about your parents? Okay, okay. I later found this out about, let's say, four years ago when I finished secondary school. My mom got pregnant before she got married. So she had an affair with my dad. So when he found out she was married, he denied the pregnancy. Like he said, he's not responsible, he's not doing anything, he's not taking it. So, so you don't even know your father? I've not seen him before, I don't know him. I went looking for him in 2015. I tried calling him. I met his family though, I met his sister. They're all cool with me, but he himself, mm, somehow he said, he's still standing for what he said before the whole incident. At some point I was grilled in it, but I just had to shake it off and I'm living my life. I'm, I'm trying to live the dream I've always had as a child. Because when I was a child, I didn't know all this, but I had a dream in my head. I knew what I wanted to be, even if it was not clear. But after all this, at some point I was cold, I was shot at, but now I'm saying I'm, I'm living the, the life I want to live. Like the picture I had in my head, I'm, I'm moving towards it. Fantastic, fantastic. I, I mean, I've seen people try to go into looking for their maybe estranged parents and then when the person says, I don't want to meet you, it affects them emotionally. Yeah, it, you know. it affects them because the time I went to look for him was the time I needed him most. Wow. Because, okay, I was going to a private school from my nursery to about primary two. So my my grandmom was raising me alone. Her husband was, was and she had five children alive, five alive children, some died. So just imagine what someone who has five children would be doing. She, she has a lot to take care of, but she was still taking care of me as her own. I bear her son name. Wow. The coffee, the coffee is from her. Wow. It's, it's her son name. So she adopted you? Kind of. Okay. Kind of. Okay. I bear her son name. So she had a lot to do. So when I left secondary school, the financial bills was not much. Because while I was in secondary school, I was going to a government school. So you, you, you know how government schools like, so just anyhow. But the, 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 the financial commitment is little or nothing. So I was just there. I didn't really face the challenges. But when I got out of secondary school, she was retired already. You know how they do pensioners in Nigeria. So it, I was not like facing the real world. Like I had to become a sales boy several wow. times. And at, at some point in my life, I've had to hawk. Wow. I've hawked pure water. No one knows. I have had to sell bags. I, there was a particular time I didn't go to school. I had to sell bags at junctions. And I've had to do stuff. I had to go to construction sites to build those stuff. They carry block and they carry sand. And I've had to do series of things. No one knows. And I just think when I'm doing all those things, what what is always on my mind is the picture I have on my head. Th that has been one of my greatest motivation. I know I want to become this and I'm going to become it. I just keep I just keep going and that's been one of my I'm sorry I'm I'm emotional. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> sorry. Yeah there there are there are times that things things have become so tough. Okay, I went to I later I later went to meet my mom. I knew her though she would come visit me. I knew my mom. So but we we're not really close. So after my secondary school, I told my grandmother, I cannot do this anymore. Whenever they ask me my son's name, where is he coming from? I don't know. I don't know. So in search of where I'm from, I went to meet my mom. There was a man I was thinking of my father because he was close to my family, but it turned out to not be the case. So when I went to meet my mom, my mom initially lied to me, but I was smart, so I found out. I went to her documents and I found out the book where stuff were written about me. From there, I told her I am going to acquire from state. There's there's something about determination when you're determined sure. to do something. Sure. Things just fall in place. Like, okay, I sent someone a message, a friend request on Facebook, and somehow the person was my relative. Wow. From there, I got to meet the sister of my father. Wow. I just when I went to meet my mom. We went there, it was not working. My mom has issues on her own. She's training two of my my, my step siblings. Currently, so she's married with other with kids. Another man. Yeah. But yeah. currently the man is not with her. But over a year now, over a year now, and my mom too, there's a spirit that my mom has that I believe is strongly in me. She is a fighter. 
she fights that times things are, are, are rough but she keeps moving on she's not with our family is not in the best shape my brother now is currently working away outside he he, he breeds dogs it's his, it's his natural talent just like i played the trumpet it was a natural talent he breeds dogs and he gets money sometimes he brings money to the family there was a time my mom had diabetes certain relationships i developed I was supposed to get money to pay for my pre-degree school fees when I was in my pre-degree, but I didn't pay. I didn't have my pre-degree exams. Part of that money was supposed to be given to me. It was given to her. We fixed her diabetes bill, and somehow I still got admission as a first list school now. I'm a best nine nursing student. So first, have, first year, first list, yeah. Okay. So things have been really tough. That's not been easy. Especially with my mom. I, when I went to meet my mom, just imagine an 18 year old child. You guys don't talk. It's just coming into your life. There was this out of place I felt. We we quarreled and I had emotional baggages. There are there are days I had to sleep outside the house. There are days my mom would just stop for me, say hurtful words. And I was not a good child, so I would say hurtful words to her. But every time I keep saying this is not what is on my head. This is not who I am. And God helped me, I got to Meet so many people, Basi Omoe, to Kijay, resident pastor, first love assembly, Oibo. He really helped me a lot. He, he shaped my life. Then I got into personal development. I started developing myself, how to speak, how to do so many things, how to outside what I was taught in school. Because when I left school, it was like I was coming into the real world. Like when I was in school, things were covered. My grandmother was always there for me. But this time, no one was there for me. I had to face everything. Wow. And it was looking overwhelming at first, but I knew I could pull through. True. I had people that were talking to me, and I just believed that somehow things will fall in place. And wow. it's not like it is over. Yeah. Like even even while I was, I was during my pre degree, things were really low. There were times I had to go to laundry shops to iron clothes just so that I'll get money. If I if I iron one clothes, I get thirteen naira. Wow. So there were days I'll iron hundred clothes, and I'll just do stuffs, and I just wow. come out smiling. No one wow. knows. Wow. So. Since the, the journey is not a smooth one, but there is no excuse for failure, that's just the truth. Hmm, time to explore! Looks like a fun way to learn! Awesome! And this! I can learn a new language! We <laughs> are oui. ah, music! <laughs> and I can learn to play an instrument too? Cool! Games everywhere! Wow! <laughs> Birthday credit? I love it here. I'm never leaving. Play, explore, and learn with MTN Impulse. You are a bag full of inspiration. I don't know if I can continue doing this show. <laughs> My name is Anita and I'm 17 years old. What has kept me going all this while is just God and my inspiration for music and my passion to talk to teenagers. Actually, I'm an inspirational speaker. I talk, I write, I love writing a lot and I'm actually writing a book right now. So watch out for my new book. Thank you. I'm on body for victory and for me, everything has working perfectly for me so far. My inspiration has been the mentor I found in Antichichi Umesiaka. There is two people I want God to bless for me. My mother and Mr. Umesiaka. That woman made me who I am today. The fact that I am one of the youngest CEO in Nigeria is not easy something. It's all thanks to God, my mother and Mr. Umesiaka. I will never forget you in my life, even if... I am dead. I was remembering you as I'm dead. I thank God for everything. It wasn't easy, but I believe it was really worth it. Ha <laughs> ha!
Wow, you guys have stories that are, wow, unbelievable. I, I am still struggling to just keep up, keep up to finish this show. Anita, tell me, um, yeah, you mentioned something very key. A lot of people believe when there is no father figure, you know, things can actually go bad. How do you think your mom has been able to make you guys to be responsible? I know you are not your mom, but I've seen one or two things. I believe you have seen one or two things that she's doing to help you. You are 17 and you just finished your, um, your junior work, your, your senior work, sorry. <laughs> your senior work. So what do you think your mom, because I know there are parents that are watching. What is that advice you can give to, to parents that are watching to say, you know, when this, you people are dealing with, teenagers are dealing with stuff. You know, so what can parents do to, or that parent do to help the teenagers or their children deal with the absence of the other parent. Okay, um, not sounding too religious, but I'm going to be religious right now. The main thing that has kept my family to today, some people might say you're a teenager, you don't know what is going on behind your back, but I know everything, is God. From the one, from the day my father left us, it has just been God. My mommy has just been on her knees. She has just been on her knees. I don't know any other thing that my mom has been doing, if not God and prayers. And words, and words, since my dad left. Some people might see us and say, and say these children are so disciplined. It's like their mom used cane on them. But since my dad left us, my mom has never used a stick of broom on our body. Never. And it has just been good. She has just been praying. It is just that prayer that, you know, some parents, they see, they say, I'm, I'm too busy to pray. I go out by six. I come back by six. But you can pray anywhere. You can pray anywhere. You're not doing a six to six um, fasting. Even those that are doing six to six fasting, they do pray. It has just been God all this while. She has just been, it has just been God has been keeping us. Even, okay, let's take this for an instance. Um, Victory said, friends and all of that. My eldest brother, he's a shoemaker. I mean, a shoemaker, he's not a shoemender. It was due to friends. He started this when he was small. He almost burnt the whole house with them um, carton paper. And my dad would always pursue him. And my mom would still go on her knees and say, God, if this is the dream of this child, let it continue. Until now, my brother makes shoes for his lecturers. Wow. And he's a student. He's a student. He's a polymer and tells us student at a photo over. Wow. He's a polymer and tells us student. And I don't like I can't think of any other thing my mom is doing right now, if not prayer and words. She would tell you, yes, it is useless and all of that. I know that it is no good for parents to abuse their kids verbally, but she's not telling you you are useless. For you to be useless. She's, She's just, just using telling it. you you're Tough useless love. for you to be useful. Tough love. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anita. Tell me who you um tell, tell me your friend and I'll tell you who you will become. That's a Chinese proverb, but if it's everywhere. And another thing is you need to believe in yourself. I need to add that. Believe in yourself. Find yourself. If you don't know who you were, people would deceive you. People can mislead you. Will, not can, will mislead you. Another thing, learn a skill. She's 16 and she has started her own business, a modeling um, um, agency, a modeling company. You can, and you couldn't do that if you, had, if you didn't find yourself. So yeah. you'd find yourself and learn a skill, find something to do that you can easily fall back to. You know, that's one way to, to you know, develop yourself. Williams, how did you learn this in the first place when you were busy doing Minajo? You got me crying, boy. Okay. You got me crying. <laughs> that's not fair on, on, on national TV. <laughs> Oh my God, you, I think this is the second time I'm crying on national TV. <laughs> okay, so how did you learn this? Um, okay, this is actually a long story. I grew... Make it short. I grew in Waterside, in Port Harcourt. They call it Waterside, it's like creeks. So the place was not nice for children to be at. Like, if you're there, you just get involved in cultism and so, so many other stuff. So my grandmother would always send me to church. She would send me to church. I don't know why, but that was the thing she... I, I knew her for... Besides the fact that she was indulging me in her activities, we had to go and edit minutes and all those things. She would just send me to church. Send me to church. 
And while I will go to church, they will gather children, because I was not the only one yeah. that, that would be sent to church, though. They will gather children and they just start teaching them trumpet, different wow. instruments, different wow. musical instruments, wow. salvation army, though. Wow. So they will teach them instruments. So I was just learning. And I took it personal. Wow. I don't know. It, it was kind of my time. I took it personal and a lot of people dropped, actually. I, we were over 30 and I can remember vividly we were about two. Wow. Two. That continued. I am my friend. I know him. That, that can play now. Wow. So a lot, a lot of people dropped. So that was how, while right I go to church, I just learned, learned and I took it personal. Personal. And, and you have improved yourself. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. What's your advice to um, parents? Parents. I, to your father, if you get an opportunity to talk to him, what will you tell him? Um, that's, a, that's a very tricky one, okay. Before, before I give my advice, actually, I don't know what a father figure is like up until recent when I met different kinds of fathers. I've seen different kinds of fathers. I've seen fathers that are not good and I've seen fathers that are nice. I've had to talk with people and I just feel like they're my father. The way they talk to me, the way they just... Um, I would advise him to not let go of me before I was born. Then, secondly, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put myself in his position. He was not financially buoyant, and a lot of people will run away. It's not easy taking a child at that part, point of your life, but you were given a second chance. Exactly. You came to look yes, for him. Yes, I went to look for him, but he still rebuffed me, so... I don't know. Uh, it, it's it's a bit emotional on my own part. So, but thank parents, you. Parents, my advice to parents: just don't give up on your child, no matter how hard it is. Don't give up on your child. They will not always be nice. I've not I've not always been nice. I've had to indulge in stuff that are not nice. Like my parents were some at some point they were wondering what kind of child is this? What kind of child is this? But they will not always be nice. But don't give up on your child. Keep praying for them. Keep sending them to church if you believe in church because I don't want to sound so religious. Yeah, yeah. I am very religious. I'm, my, my whole life has been built on religion. Like, I learned this in church. It has taken me to places. I've played at, um, at national sports convention. I've played with white people and all those things. So I really believe. They, yeah. They are, just try to develop them try to develop them. My grandmother, I can never forget her in my life. Never. There, there are things she taught me when I was small that I am using now. Absolutely. And I just had to sit down and wonder where are they coming from? I just noticed that it was what my grandmother was teaching me when I was small. So never give up on her. And my mother, I will, I will not leave her outside this. I know it was tough for her, but no matter how tough it is, never let go of your child. Trump. I love my mother a lot. I love my mother a lot. I wish I grew with her. I, I love her, but we don't have... Our relationship is best when we are far apart. If we are close now, no matter how hard it is, we just get issues. So never give up on your child. Never give Absolutely. up on your child. Absolutely. And to the children, never give up on yourself. You can be whatever you want to be, no matter how hard it is. Things will fall in place if you're determined enough. Thank you so much. This is one of the toughest shows to do on this I think this is the toughest show to do on this season. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much and keep being the best you are 16 you are 20 going to 21 you are 17 trust me in three years from now i am 100 percent sure i'm going to be proud of you guys sure. i will not give up on you the society will not give up on you personally even if the society does i chichi i will not give up on you we will make it work and your father will come back looking for you and he'll be proud of you he will be the one you know justin bieber he the father came back looking for him so I want to just tell you, just keep pushing, be encouraged. You know, for us that our fathers are, you know, for you, not for us, my father is still alive, forgive me. <laughs> but for you that, you know, just hang in there and be the best you can be. Make your mother proud. That's the only gift you can give to her. Make her proud. Guys, I know you, you've learned a lot. You've, you know, for me, I've been inspired. I've cried. Uh, it's so emotional. But you've heard it from them. Let's, let's just do something. Parents, we can do better. We are losing a lot of our kids today into, and look, thank God they're not doing drugs. Thank, thank God they're not um, into cultism. Thank God they're not, they've not gotten into some social vices because they are strong will, but a lot of other kids have not been able to maintain that. Please, let's get back to parenting, right? 
being the best we can be. Teenagers, trust me, even if the whole world gives up on you, don't give up on yourself. I know you've learned a lot from them. Until I come your way next time, remember what I love to tell you. You can become whatever you want to become. It's only in your hands. Believe in yourself. Bye. We'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,